Rascal Flats embarks on something other than music, and Taylor Swift announces a cool contest for fans. All these stories and more. Music City 411 starts now. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Music City 411. I'm your host, Shane Talent, here in Nashville, Tennessee. And this week, we are at an amazing new store called Lucchese Boots here in the Gulch District of Town. Now, Lucchese's been around since 1883, and it makes it one of the oldest, most original companies in the U.S. All these boots are handmade with some of the most amazing leather you can find. We're going to take a look around, but before we do, the boys of Rascal Flats are up to something, and it's not music. Take a look. Rascal Flats has started another group, but not the kind you might think. The trio has formed the Rascal Flats Restaurant Group and will begin developing theme restaurants throughout the U.S. and Canada. The Flats will open their first location in Phoenix next year and will launch 10 other locations around the country by 2014. The Phoenix restaurant will be 14,000 square feet with a state-of-the-art soundstage, an indoor-outdoor bar, and retail space. Other locations scheduled to open in 2013 include Columbus, Ohio, Pittsburgh, Raleigh, North Carolina, Minneapolis, Long Island, New York, and Charlotte, to name just a few. And Rascal Flats bassist Jay DeMarcus says he's even up for another challenge, and that's American Idol judge if there's an open spot. All right, we're back here at Luke Casey, and this place is unbelievable. In fact, this is one of what they call an elastic cast. These can be made specifically to your feet. The leather is wrapped around it, forming to the way that you actually walk as an individual, and then you get to choose from all of these amazing leathers. This place is out of control. We're gonna show you more of the store in just a bit, but first, Taylor Swift has a pretty cool contest for some fans. Take a look. I remember when we broke up the first time, seeing this is it, I've had enough. Cause like, we hadn't seen each other in a month when you said you needed space. Taylor Swift has announced that she will perform an intimate acoustic concert for a winning college or high school this fall as part of the VH1 Storyteller series on VH1. Hey guys, it's Taylor. I would really love to play a free concert at your school. So if you go on taylorswiftoncampus.com, you can vote and you could win a VH1 Storytellers concert or one of five $10,000 scholarships. The contest is open to accredited colleges and high schools in the 48 continental U.S. states. The top five schools with the most votes at the end of the contest will each receive a $10,000 grant for their music department from Taylor and Chegg for Good. Chegg for Good inspires students to be a catalyst for change on their campus, in their communities, and around the world. The contest runs through September 23rd. And for all the information on Taylor's contest, you can go to taylorswiftoncampus.com. Now, we're high above the Lucchese store here in Nashville, and this place is getting even more cool because now we're in the VIP suite where you can actually customize your boot, not only to your foot, but to your liking. I mean, look at this. If that's not custom, I don't know what is. You can choose from thousands of different types of leathers, and again, it is the nicest leather known to man. The cool thing about Luke Casey is that they don't use glue on their boots, and it allows your foot to breathe. So clearly, you're getting the best of the best when you put a Luke Casey on your foot. All right, now there's one last story and an unfortunate one. Husband of Winona Judd, Cactus Moser, is recovering this week after a terrible motorcycle accident. Michael Scott Cactus Moser was riding his motorcycle on U.S. Highway 16 in South Dakota last week when he crossed the center line and hit a car. He was airlifted to a local hospital. Cactus is the husband of Winona Judd and a representative for the group said Moser's leg was severed at the scene of the accident and has since had it amputated. Moser has also had surgery on his hand. Winona is postponing her scheduled concerts in Canada as a result, and Moser is a resident of Nashville and the drummer in her band. Well, let's wish Cactus a speedy recovery. Well, that's all the time we have for this week on Music City 411, but a huge thank you goes out to Luke Casey for having us by and showing us their amazing product. These things are so cool. I'm going to have to get one of these. And in the meantime, you check out our website and follow us on Twitter at MusicCity411. We'll see you next week. Thanks so much for loving country music.